folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Dutchman Atlas 3252 MBF. This is something that uh, is becoming a lot more popular. It's a mid-bunk model. The great thing about it is you have a spot for the kids, but you still get the awesome rear living room back here. And this one is only 36 and a half foot. So it's relatively short for being a mid-bunk. So if you want to still be able to get into some of those smaller spaces, this one may allow you to do that. Let's start off right over here on our super slide. You have a freestanding table and chairs, which is great because if you have a sofa in the back where people can sleep, and although a dinette you know, does give you that extra sleeping space, it's usually not anything adults can utilize anyway. So I really like having this. It looks a lot nicer, and it's easy to be able to sneak adults in here. If you need a little extra room, you also have the leaf. Let's see if I can do this without slamming it down here. There you go, just kind of pops up just like that. That will give you that uh, little additional space that way you have a little more elbow room. Windows on the slide, you will see go all the way up to the top of the slide. So big windows in here, which help uh, you know, open the space up and it's a little more inviting, lets in more light. Of course, you have LED lights up top. Right over here is your theater seating, the Thomas Paine collection. Uh, this one only has one cup holder. A lot of times your theater seating will have two, but this center console is a little bit thinner but you'll see that it does still have a spot for your remotes right here. And both of these do recline. It has like your kind of parachute style, uh, little grab handle right over here on the sides. So if you lift that up, that will lift your uh, footrest up just like that. And then of course you can kind of lean it back there. It hugs the wall. That way you can sit back, relax, be able to watch TV. And this floor plan, just like many others, does have the TV directly across right where you want it. Right in the back here is your sofa. Uh, it's a love seat style, so you have the two cushions here with the larger end tables on both sides. Underneath those end tables, you have cubby holes, and under the cubby holes, you have an electrical outlet as well as USB ports on both sides of the sofa. Now, this is, as I mentioned, a tri-fold. I will make the bed up for you real quick here just to show you. It's pretty quick and easy. So you just take the cushions off. What, what I recommend when you're pulling this out is just kind of put your leg right up against it because a lot of times when you pull this, it moves the whole sofa sometimes. So for any trifold, just kind of put your leg right up against here. That'll let you quickly and easily pull this out. This one has the legs that drop down just like so. And then the back drops down just like this. So this is what your guests will get to sleep on. It's actually fairly comfortable as far as pullouts go. Uh, the trifold will definitely be the most preferred. You'll also notice you have windows here, so that way you get a good view out the back, especially if you have like oceanfront, lakeside, something like that, and windows on both sides, as well as storage across the top and a bunch of LED lights here. You see you have them both up top as well as right down below, so that way it is nice and bright in here at night. I'll fold this up real quick here. Cool thing about this too, folks, is as you can see, you do get a little bit of storage underneath, even when it is folded up, so if you want to put, um, you know, like a blanket down there or you know, your sheet, something like that, you can certainly do that. Then right over here to the side, this is our, uh, our kitchen slide out right here, as well as the entertainment center. As I mentioned, the TV is directly across from that theater seating. A Little bit of storage up top there. You'll see your multimedia center that is hooked up into the TV already. So if you wanna watch a movie, you can pop it right in there. A Couple speakers right next to that. Down below is your fireplace. Uh, not only does this look pretty great, but it is also a space heater. So. If you are somewhere, you don't want to use a propane, you know, it's just starting to dip down, just getting a little chilly, you can turn that on and that will just help kind of take the chill off in this space back here. If we take a quick look at the ceiling, you will see your vent fan right here, power vent fan in the main kitchen area. So if you need to get some smells out of here, that'll be the, the probably most effective way to do it. Just open a window, turn that on. You can actually feel the wind coming through. These vent fans do a great job. And it also has a rain sensor on it too. So if it's raining, that'll drop down. Of course, AC right back here, that is ducted as you would expect. Same thing with ducted heat in the floor. Uh, the kitchen itself has beautiful solid surface countertops. You can certainly appreciate that. A couple electrical outlets there in case you need to plug anything in. You have sink top covers on both sides. These are usable as cutting boards. Just flip them over and go ahead and do your business there. I always recommend just cutting on one side in case uh, you have any knife marks in it. You know, it's not showing on top, so they stay looking nice. Undermount double bowl stainless steel sink there because you have solid surface that allows you to undermount it. And then you have the high rise faucet. Faucet's slightly different than the one they had last year, a little bit different head on here, but uh, kind of the same style and look. Take a look underneath. You have one drawer right over here. You can see that same size running all the way down over here. You have three drawers there. This 
Bottom compartment has a shelf built in, so it's probably maybe you know some pots, pans, things like that over to the side. Uh, when you open this up, this one right down here doesn't have any plumbing, so your P-trap or nothing is there, so that's probably the uh, best spot in which you should put a trash can if you want one down there. You have the Dometic fridge freezer combo right over here, stainless steel looking panels on there. When we open that up, uh, of course this is your, your hose for outside, but uh, it's just stored in there currently. Freezer obviously up top, your refrigerator right down below here. This one does run off both propane and electric and also has automatic switch over. Then we move over to this side. Again, still beautiful solid surface countertops. You have a power tower right there in the corner. So you can pop that up, electrical outlets as well as dual USB ports. To drop it back down, you just push this little red button and it'll drop down just like so. You have the decorative backsplash. This is really cool. It has the LED light there and you know just gives it a little bit uh, more appeal. And then you also have the recessed cooktop with the glass cover. So that way you can utilize this as prep space. You need to use it, no worries, just flip it up just like so. That'll give you access to that three burner cooktop, the front one there being high output. And then you have an oven underneath in case you want to do some baking. You do have drawer space underneath here. They didn't waste any space. And then these three drawers right here are pretty deep. So if you're looking for some, uh, you know, something you need to put in some bigger drawers, it's a good spot for it there. Storage right up here up top. You also have the stainless steel microwave as well as the hood with both a light and a fan. Over to this side, I really love when manufacturers are able to put this in, and that is a pantry. You can see you have the frosted glass on there. Notice how it's dark, but when you open it up, you have motion sensor light, so that way you have light in here. Plenty of shelves. That gives you a lot of space for pots, pans, plates, food, really whatever else you want to toss in there. I like having the big pantry. You'll also see you have storage up top. Uh, although it's a fairly good size, it is pretty tough to get to, so if you want to store things up there, you'll probably need a step stool. And then lastly, you have some additional storage right over here. Underneath, you have this little countertop piece with an electrical outlet, so maybe a good spot for a coffee maker, something like that. Underneath, you will see you have additional storage there. And then your fuse panel right down here. You'll, of course, see your fuses for your 12 volt along the side, and then your breakers for your 120. And right over here as we enter into the hall is your main control panel. This, of course, has your tank monitoring panel on there as well as your water heater. Notice that it can run off both gas and electric. You can turn both those on at the same time for faster recovery. Another cool thing right here, folks, this one has what they call in-command light. So essentially what that is, is you can download the in-command light app on your phone, connect to it via Bluetooth, and that will allow you to operate your lights as well as your slide outs right from your phone, which is pretty handy. The max air fan I showed you, the control for that is right here, and then your thermostat is right underneath it. And then this, of course, is the mid bunk. When we step in here, this is uh, where the kids get to sleep or any extra adults, you know, if you're having an adult weekend, whatever it may be. You have the big bunk on top and bottom. They're extra wide, which is great. You have lights on top and bottom, windows as well. You'll see over to the side there, you have electrical outlet as well as dual USB port. You have the same thing right over here. So a couple different places in which you can plug in cell phones, things like that. And then you have the storage like this on both sides. If you take a look at the bathroom, there are two entrances and exits. One right here into the master bedroom, the other one into your main living area. Right in between the two is your sink. Uh, not a huge bowl, but it's good enough to be able to wash your hands in here and be able to brush your teeth. The thing I like about having a small bowl though is the fact that it gives you a lot more countertop space, which you can do things like, you know, put your soap dish or a toothbrush holder or uh, curl, you know, such a curling iron down, whatever else it may be. Right up top, you'll see the mirrored medicine cabinet there with storage behind that, as well as the little cubby hole right there. And you have a tiny bit of storage underneath the sink there as well, but that is mainly plumbing access. Over to this side is the foot flush lever toilet. It is a porcelain bowl, so that way it is easier to clean. It'll stay looking uh, nicer a lot longer. Right behind that, you have your robe hook, so it gives you a place to hang up your towel, or you know, if you wear a robe, you can put your robe there too, of course. And then you have the vent fan right up above that. Uh, above the shower is a skylight, so that does give you some extra height if you're really tall. Um, you know, I mean, I'm six foot. You can see I can stand in here. No problem. If you're a really tall person, you know, you're six four or something, you can stand underneath that skylight for a little bit of added height there. Then you'll notice the hand wand over to the side to make showering a little bit easier. And the Neo Angle shower here does have the doors in the roller track. So that way when you open it up, the water goes into the shower pan, unlike a swing door where sometimes it can get on the floor. Right over here is your slide out wardrobe uh, for the bedroom, but in the bathroom itself, you'll see you have shelves. This kind of makes it a linen closet because if you close off the door to the bedroom right here, 
course, this door would be here. It'll close off right there, so that way it is uh, still in the bathroom again, allowing this to be a great spot for towels and any other bathroom accessories. In the bedroom, you have your residential 60 by 80 queen size bed with storage underneath. You also see on both sides, you have a good size nightstand. So it gives you a spot to you know, set your cell phone down to charge it. You'll see you have USB ports there as well as electrical outlets. Good spot for a CPAP machine. You have uh, storage underneath. You can see the door that you can open up there. And up top, you have some storage. There is also a mirror on the door if you wanna be able to check yourself out. You have storage all across the top there too and LED lights underneath. It's also a fairly stylish headboard compared to what you see in most RVs. I like the fact that you know, it has an actual kind of 3D element to it rather than just being like a panel. And then right over here behind me is your wardrobe. So this is where you will hang all of your clothes. You do have a couple of drawers right down below. Lastly, if you take a look up at the ceiling, you'll see that you have an AC in the bedroom so you can stay nice and cool as well as a TV hookup if you wanna watch a show before bed. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Atlas 3252 MBF. Normally we start this up front, but as you can see, it's uh, blocked right here. So real quick, I'll tell you, there's a 30 pound propane tank on this side. You have another on the off door side there. You also have pass through storage. We'll get a better look at both of those when we go around to the off door side. Uh, but also on this side right here, one of the things I really do enjoy is the step system. You have the more ride steps on here. Uh, more and more manufacturers are starting to use this and it is a great step system. As I'm over 200 pounds and as you can see, I can bounce up and down on here. There is no flex. You have the foldable grab handle, which makes it easy to go in and come back out. You have the extensions on here for your feet. So that way, no matter what site you're at, you can extend the feet out. So that way you have the level steps. The steps themselves also have aluminum treads with grip tape on there. Folks, it's a great step system. If you're sick of having that balance, you'll definitely appreciate this. You'll also notice not one, but two power awnings on here. So touch a button to have those roll out. That way it'll uh, protect you from you know, a little bit of rain or drizzle like we have right now. Uh, or you know, if you, you want some extra shade, obviously it provides excellent shade. And you have LED light strips on both so you have light at night. You do have two outside speakers up here. You can see one, the other one is tucked behind this travel trailer here, but those are controlled by that multimedia center inside and are Bluetooth capable. Also, if you want TV outside, here are your hookups for that. So that way uh, you can sit right underneath the awning and be able to watch the game or show, whatever may be on. If we take a look right underneath, you will see you have aluminum alloy wheels. None of those look great now, but they will continue to do so for years to come because aluminum doesn't rust. You also have easy lube axles. And if you take a look right behind that, you'll see one of your power jacks. This one does have auto level. So all I have to do is touch a button and the coach will actually level itself out. It really makes uh, tearing down and setting up camp much quicker and easier for you. When you come around to the back real quick here, you'll see this one does have the uh, bumper. You have the end cap, so you can pop that off. Gives you a spot to store your sewer hose. Spare tire on here ladder so you can climb up onto the fully walkable roof. Then you have backup camera prep there as well. If we take a look underneath, something else you will see is this one does have your fully enclosed and heated underbelly. It's kind of tough to see, but that does run all the way through. It's insulated. So as long as you have your furnace running, it is blowing that hot air underneath, helping prevent your tanks and your water lines from freezing up on you. So here on the off door side, we made our way around. You can see you have 30 pound propane tank right there. Just like I said, you will have the same thing on the door side. When you come in here into the pass through, uh, I do want to show you so you can kind of see how the door on the, uh, the camp side there is a little bit smaller. Obviously the one on this side is much larger. You have the LED light strip going across there so you can light up this pass through if you need to see what you're getting into. But overall, it is pretty good size. I know, like I say, you lose a little bit on the camp side, but you know, right over here, if you have larger items, you can certainly fit in your executive chairs, grills, everything else you need to put in here. You also have the majority of your hookups right here. You see you have a light in case you're hooking up at night. You have uh, outside water connection, your cable inlet, hot water heater bypass. So that way, when you are uh, winterizing, you can bypass the water heater, make sure you're not filling up full of glycol city water inlet, as well as a black tank flush right there. All right, folks, and that wraps it up. Again, this is the 2019 Dutchman Atlas 3252 MBF. If you're interested in this unit and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description below. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.